Hi, Scott Orlam with Cinema Magazine. The movie is called Suspiria, and the star of the film is Dakota Johnson. Or actually, the guy outside was Dakota, which Dakota. I think sounds even more dramatic. Mm -hmm. um, it's fascinating in the history of Hollywood, their relationships between directors and actors sometimes. And you and Luca, talk a little bit about how the two of you just gel so well together. It's, um, it's, I feel so lucky. Um, I just, we just love each other and respect each other and trust each other. And I want to, uh, be good for him. And, um, he's, I think he's brilliant. And I just, I think, uh, I don't know, I think that kind of lays the groundwork. And he also respects me and as an artist and as a person and um, that just allows us to have a really great collaboration. But we also, the second we're together and working, it's we just run, it's perfect. And I think he's probably a director that takes you a little bit out of your comfort zones. And in this movie, I am going to presume that you are not that experienced of a dancer as we see in the movie. So what was that process like for you to learn that? And did it bring out something creatively in you to go through that? Um, well, okay, so I danced when I was younger for like, you know, a after school and on the weekends for about 10 years. Well, on and off. And... Um, I, it was, but it was very traditional. It was, you know, ballet and jazz and tap and whatever, you know, the nutcracker and whatnot. Um, not that that's <laughs> like, whatever, it's very serious shit. But this was different um, in that I had seen modern dance, I had seen expressionist dance, but I had not discovered the world of of Mary Wigman and Martha Graham and these women who created a, a complete world of their of their expressionist dance. Mary Wigman specifically was a huge, huge uh, reference for me and for all of us. But um, uh, it, so it began with a lot of references sent to me from Luca and um, films like The Red Shoes and. Uh, a lot of work by Pina Bausch. Um, and then uh, I began training six months before filming, um, just kind of like body work and, and um, figuring out how a young Mennonite girl with no real professional training could get to this level of performance while then turning up to a dance academy. So figuring out how she would move her body. Um, it was a lot of uh, music from, I love music more than anything, so this was easy for me, but a joy to choose different artists from different genres so that it was things that Susie may have heard, you know, in a shop or in a restaurant, in a supermarket, you know, um, on ask. a train. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but those things, in like, informed how she would move her body and how I would do that. And then we kept training a month prior to filming and that was every day, all day. Well, not all day, like eight hours. And then after work while we were shooting. Because you talked about doing research with the music and with the dance, but I was wondering how much of the source material, the original film that this is based on, did you want to look at? Or did you want to, like Luca, tell you to stay away from it? No, he's, he didn't tell me to stay away from it. Um, it was, uh, we weren't trying to match it, clearly, but, uh, and it was not, it was sort of our, um, our, our uh, what do you call it? Not a syllabus, but like a, I don't know the word for it. This um, this incredible, inspiring story that we saw that wanted to feed into the whole way. mythology of the witches and the covens and things like that. Because some people, that's, that's just foreign territory. Yeah, I love it. 
I love it. I think it's so interesting. It's like mystical, um, mysterious, energetic, powerful. I think, uh, you know, witches are, are people who harness their power. Anyone could do that. I mean, it's not, it's, it's emotional. It's, it's, um, strong women. It's being connected to your self and, and to energy and to people and connecting. And that's, I mean, they used to call any woman who spoke out a witch, people with blue eyes, people who were left-handed. You know, it's like anything that's not normal. But I definitely did a lot of a, a lot of research on covens, and one of my favorite films when I was a teenager was The Craft. It's like this is right up my alley. It ticks all the boxes. Well, you have blue <laughs> eyes, but I'm not going to accuse you of being a witch. Dakota Johnson, thank you so much. As always, it's such a thank pleasure. You. And this is Scott Orland. Till next time.